<laughs> rock, you <do> rock. <laughs> oh, but you All right, ladies, the makeovers look immaculate. Each of you look so good right now. You girls look amazing. All right, now you girls are gonna have to go into your second photo shoot of the day. Now, you remember earlier when you guys had that photo shoot and you were looking into the mirror, you were you had to act shocked or scared, and we didn't tell you what for. Well, there's a continuation to that photo shoot. Now, the idea of the photo shoot is that your normal cells are looking into the mirror at your supermodel alter egos. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And so today, you girls are going to be shooting the other half of that photo as your supermodel alter egos. So let's get into hair and makeup and make me proud. <laughs> Booga pass. Oh, naka. Melissa, um, her new look turned her into a model. Um, I don't know where the hell it came from, but she worked it. Um, she definitely did better than the, the, the than the first time around. Felicia's just a natural on camera. You know, some girls just got it and some don't, and she just she just got it. Sherry, she turned up the heat. She's definitely a front runner in the competition. You know, she just she just knows how to model. I love her. Um, Belle, she, I wasn't impressed. Um, I didn't know what she was doing. Um, but I think that with a little training, she could be, she could be a pretty good model. Gail, um, once again, I was bored. It was boring for me. Um, but she does have something special about her. Morgan's new hairstyle makes her more interesting to the eye. But for today's photo shoot, I think that she was just resting on pretty. Janae, um, she started off a little stiff. You know, it took her a while to get the shot, you know. Krista needs to learn how to cheat at her jaw in her photographs. I mean, she's a beautiful girl, but just because of pure facial reasons, I don't think that she can mock. Layla, she was boring and uninspiring. I was not inspired at all. Celeste has a very beautiful face. I think that she's one of the girls that can do commercial or high fashion and pull them both off. Hmm. 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 Um, Gemma's makeover gave her a boost. She she came back ready to work and, and she definitely, you know, I thought it was interesting today. Victoria, I didn't so much like the shoot with her. She had one face throughout the entire role, and I wasn't impressed. Hmm. Hmm. Tomorrow, you will meet with the judges. Only 11 of you will continue on with the hopes of becoming Veronaville's next top model. One of you will be eliminated. Love, Chaylin. Ready to see you. Rock, 
Sigona. Lubla. Hey ladies, welcome to your very first judging experience. I see y'all got your makeovers done and you all look like models. Very different from how you first started off. Now before we get started, let me introduce our panel of judges. First we have a longtime friend of mine, Renee Bakashi, who graduated at the top of her fashion major class and is now an animated fashion designer. And then we have the former editor-in-chief of Sim Vogue when it was still running, Mr. Colin O'Brien himself. Now let me tell you about those prizes. The winner will receive a modeling contract with my very own Sims 3 modeling agency, the Hill Factory Modeling Agency, as well as a six picture spread on the models to be on the lookout for section of the website. Now to get to the website, you must go to www.hillfactoryagency.proboards.com and registration is required. The winner will also receive a special photo shoot with yours truly and a $100,000 modeling contract with CoverGirl Cosmetics. Your names have been randomly selected and up first is Janae. Alright, you had a photo shoot this week where you took one picture before your makeovers and you were looking into a mirror and then you took a photo after makeovers and you were also looking into a mirror and the idea of the photo shoot was that a regular girl looking into a mirror but on the other side she sees another person. It's still her, but she totally looks different. And I got this idea from a favorite movie of mine called Dark Corners, starring Thora Birch. And so, here's your best shot. I love the supermodel side, but the regular side needs work. The regular side looks like you're just saying, hot tamales. I don't like it. Um, the supermodel side is okay though. I like how you have the leg inched out as if you're moving towards, you know, as if you're walking towards the mirror, you're about to jump in it and grab her out. Um, the face is also really intense, you know, I like the, the small hunch in the back. And, and those are like the little subtle things that make a photograph, and I like that. This picture, the, a bit over the top, but um, you could have done something a little bit different, a little bit better. I think that would have like made the photograph come together. Up next is Sherry. And here is your best shot. <laughs> Sherry, oh my goodness. Now this, I want everybody to take note from this picture because this is what I wanted. I like how on the regular side, you're scared and you're afraid, but you're not overdoing it. You aren't like, you know what I'm saying, giving me too much, but you're not giving me too little. You're giving me just enough. There's fear in the eyes, there's fear in the body movement even. Your positioning is perfect. Um, and the supermodel side, the eyes, they're angry, totally different facial expression from the first shot. And the body, you know, even, it's like in one, in, on the regular side you're pulling away, but on the supermodel side you're pushing forward. And I get the message that you're trying to convey. My goodness, this is a photograph. Everything about this picture is right. This is genius. Next up is Celeste. And here is your best shot. <laughs> I don't like this photograph. For one, you can't really see the face on the supermodel side. And two, you look lackluster in both shots. Like there was no energy at all. You definitely need work. There's no question there. I, I wouldn't post it in any magazine. Felicia, here's your best shot. I love it. The eye contact is dead on in the regular shot. You look scared without overdoing it. And in the supermodel shot, you're giving angry, but it's still a model. You get what I'm saying? This is good stuff. This is brilliance at its finest hour. On the regular side, there's fear in the face, but not too much fear. And the supermodel side is very bold. Melissa's up next. And here is your best shot. I like this picture, Melissa. There's so much mystery behind it. I like the fact that the supermodel side isn't posed. It's, you know what I'm saying, it's it's natural. You were moving and, and they caught it in action and I love it. I love that about this photograph. And I probably would stop if this were in a magazine. I wouldn't stop for long, but I would stop for the, for the moment. Thank God that they cut your hair. This is the look for you. The photograph is stunning to me. 
Morgan. And here is your best shot. You lost your neck in the supermodel side. Had you had more neck, this picture would have been perfect. In the, the regular side, how you have like one of your shoulders, one of your uh, shoulders higher than the other one, and it's like, you know, oh my gosh, I like that. With the regular side, I feel like that's that's a girl portraying a model, pretending to be a model. In the, in the supermodel side, you've got it down. Up next is Gemma. And here is your best shot. I love the supermodel side, but the regular side, for one, it's like the eyes, they're dead. They're widened, but they're dead. The mouth is wide open. You look like you're catching flies. The hands are too far up. It's like you're just not giving what I need in this photograph. And I would flip past it. You're doing too much, but in the same breath, you're not doing enough. Up next is Belle. And here is your best shot. I don't like it. Um, the two sides just don't add up to me. It's like they're working against each other. And if it were in a magazine, I'd probably just turn the page. I see potential on the supermodel side. The regular side is too over the top. Gail, you're next. And here is your best shot. I'm not sure if I like it or not. I mean, there was just so many other things that you could have done. If you're being a supermodel, you know, the, the evil supermodel is the idea, and then the good regular person, you know, on the other side. But it's just, it, it looks dead. There could be some potential here. I see potential in the supermodel side, not so much in the regular side. You could have done something a little bit different, a little bit better. I think that would have like made the photograph come together. Up next is Layla. And here is your best shot. I like it, but I don't. I like it because that hairstyle looks damn good on you. Your makeover looks amazing on you. Um, on the supermodel side, the body, you're, it has no meaning. It has no purpose. But I think that you're showing yourself up in the photograph. Next up is Victoria. And here is your best shot. The judges were silent. And that's usually not a good thing when the judges are silent. I'm not sure which direction you were trying to go with this picture, but it's dreadful. I, I don't like anything about this picture. I think that if this were put in a magazine, I would probably protest to get the magazine shut down. This is not a good picture by any means. Last but not least, we have Krista. Here's your best shot. You could have done better. You could have done better on both sides. I think that the regular person side, you just like, you look posy. You don't, this isn't natural. If you were scared, you wouldn't do like that. You know, you wouldn't put your hands over your stomach and then your other hand on your face like, oh my gosh, you know, you'd be like, ah, you know, you'd, you'd react in some different way. And as an evil person, an evil supermodel, this is, it's kind of lame to me. There is no kind of passion. You didn't commit at all. Flat in this photograph. All right, ladies. It is now time for the judges to deliberate. And when I call you back, I will announce which one of you all will be getting sucked into the mirror and going home.